Oh, ho, ho, ho. we are back. What is going on guys? I am Joey Suggs. This is my kitchen. What you're watching right now is my video. Today we are going to none other than the holy grail of organic shopping, Sprouts Farmers Market. I'm not sure if it's a Florida only thing, but I know it is Mr. Olympia Seabum's favorite place to buy groceries. And I got one near me, so you already know I'm headed straight there. I am going to go into Sprouts with a GoPro strapped to my head, looking like a complete idiot, showing you everything that I pick up, all the healthiest, most anabolic, high protein, low calorie, high volume foods. Then we're not only gonna pick stuff up, we're gonna come back, I'm gonna try out a couple things, a little snacks here and there, and make a couple recipes for you too. So sit back, maybe grab like a notepad, pen or pencil, jot down some of these items you can pick up whenever you go to Sprouts. Definitely, definitely press that thumbs up button down below because I don't wanna be walking around Sprouts with this thing strapped to my head for no reason. And if you are new to the channel, I'm actually running a series right now called Road to Ripped where I'm getting in absolutely insane shape for summertime. So definitely check that out after this video. So that is that, let's go to Sprouts. All right, so we're starting in the deli section with some vital collagen proteins. And this is actually the unflavored version, which is kind of hard to find. 70 calories, 20 grams of protein, so that is pretty solid. And they also had their own Sprouts brand version, which is pretty cool too. And I found the Laughing Cow cheese wedges that I use quite a bit, but you wanna make sure you're getting the light one. So the light one compared to the normal is 30 calories compared to 50, so that is much better there. I found these Brecky Overnight Oats. Uh, they're 210 calories. They have some pretty solid flavor options, but it's nice to just have something there pre-made for you when you wanna get a quick breakfast in. Now, looking at the pre-made deli options, they have a ton of really good stuff. This fully roasted turkey breast will save you so much time for dinner and how thick it is, cannot beat that. Doesn't stop there though. They have these plain grilled chicken breasts. I got a couple of these actually. You can get the chicken breasts, you can get shredded chicken, they have steak kebabs. I mean, the list goes on and on. You're definitely gonna pay a little more for this, but in my opinion, to save the money, it's definitely worth it. And speaking of time saving, they have a bunch of these Kevin's quick little meals. I'll be trying out the Korean barbecue later on in the video, so stay tuned for that, but these are pretty clutch. And looking at hummus, they for one have a huge selection. Uh, I've had most of these brands. I enjoy the Ithaca is probably my favorite, but the Sprouts is actually my new favorite. These are like 50 calories per serving and the other ones range from like 70 to 80. So that is pretty good there. And then right next to that, I was able to find fat free feta cheese, which is pretty hard to find one. And this brand was really, really good. 35 calories, seven grams of protein and back to the pre-made foods for a second. They have an incredible selection of protein and sides. With the calories per ounce too, you can just buy it in bulk, you know what to track it as, and you're ready to go. This can help so much when you're like in a time crunch just trying to eat healthy. Also, surprisingly, they have really, really good sushi. I've got it a couple times before. And what's nice, they have the calories, the macros are right there on the package for you if you are someone who wants to track it. And also, I don't think I've ever seen this before, but in their fresh fish section, you can buy like ready to eat spicy ahi tuna and salmon. You can make your own poke bowls with it, stuff like that, pretty crazy. And while talking about tuna, you know I just don't like eating chicken every day and they have some of my favorite like frozen tuna steaks. You thaw these out, you put them on the pan, they are delicious. So the leanest ground beef I was able to find here was 93.7, which is pretty good. Uh, but what I like doing is actually mixing it with their 99% one, really lean ground turkey. That is an awesome combo right there. Their chicken breasts were on sale too, so had to pick some of that up, but I actually went for their thinly sliced chicken breast. Cannot recommend it enough. It tastes so much better and it cooks so much faster. Now, one thing I love about Sprouts, if I wasn't cutting, is uh, all the bulk granola, bulk snacks, just like bulk nice things you can buy. They have like rows and rows of nuts and seeds and chocolates and granolas and, and treats and everything else. It may not be the lowest calorie thing, but they are very, very tasty. Plus they have these machines where you can literally grind up your own fresh peanut butter and almond butter. That's insane. Found some good beef jerky options too. Zero sugar beef jerky, 70 calories, 14 grams of protein per serving, so that is pretty solid. And of course, had to pick up my favorite snack. These pretzel crisps, 110 calories for 11 crisps. 
that's pretty good. Now I've talked a couple of times about these dynamic duo potato packs. They're super high volume. A hundred grams of potatoes is only 70 calories. You slice them, you put them in the air fryer, you get them crispy and they are so delicious. Okay. Sprouts may just be the Mecca of bolt house dressing. They have every single flavor. They even have a green goddess avocado dressing, which I've never seen before, but Perry's going to absolutely lose her mind on this. They all range in calories from like 35 to 50 calories, but even 50 isn't terrible when you're talking about a normal dressing being like 120 to 150 per serving. Not to mention they have everything. They have a classic ranch, your blue cheese, cucumber ranch, a creamy Caesar, honey mustard, balsamic. So like everything you could think of. <sighs> and can we please take a moment to acknowledge that for someone who's six, four, like me, uh, shopping with things dangling from the ceiling just does not work, but they do have a really good selection of salad kits. I really like this mango Thai chili one and also the avocado ranch one, but little pro tip here, you can actually use either the bolt house dressing or a different kind of dressing, save the calories and still use everything else in the kit. A couple other things I like to pick up in this section is broccoli slaw. The whole bag is like 75 calories, adds so much volume into the meal, which is really nice and some pre diced sweet potatoes. They're quick, they're easy. Toss them in the air fryer and the pan and you're ready to go in just a couple minutes. Now, if you're lazy like me, but you wanna get your fruit in, just getting it pre-cut helps so much, especially like these little apples right here. Boom, ready to go. And moving on to the frozen section, First things first, they have my favorite blueberries. I think there's like Wyman's or something like that, but they're like real tiny, they're delicious, they taste so good. I use them in so many of my recipes. And right here they have their plain rice cauliflower and right above it, they have their mixed veg. If you've been watching the vlogs recently, you know I eat this combo literally every single day together. And another great find, very simple, just frozen rice and black bean mix. A great quick and easy carb source you can make just about with any meal. And right next to that, once again, some diced sweet potatoes. I love just like taking these out of the freezer straight into the air fryer in just a couple minutes, they're ready to go. And found some more cauliflower rice. This time cilantro lime flavor and the entire bag, once again, 75 calories. So you really can't beat that from like a volume eating perspective. Now, if you've been watching the road to rip series, you know about these path of life packages. They're some of my favorite frozen sides, great source of carbs and veggies. You just add some protein or some meat in there and you're ready to go. My favorite is probably the quinoa and kale blend, but they're all around like 370 calories for the whole bag which is pretty solid. Right next to that, some more great options, some frozen pre-cooked rice. These are some of the best tasting rice out there, honestly, and it's ready to go in five minutes, plus the variety of flavors. I mean, come on. They also have a huge variety of like non-dairy items. To save some cows, I've been using this sugar-free vanilla almond milk, which is only 30 calories per serving, which is crazy. And Sprouts has, once again, a lot of non-dairy and, and dairy yogurt options. They didn't have my normal Dandelion Fit Greek yogurt, but they had something almost the exact same, the Too Good yogurts, still 80 calories, still 12 grams of protein per pack, so still freaking awesome. And now on to bread. They have a big selection of like the normal ones, but they also had some abnormal ones too, including these cheese wraps. Perry actually loves these. They're quite literally just a wrap made out of cheese, but 11 grams of protein is 60 calories and you're using cheese instead of bread. So you're pretty much killing two birds with one stone. Pretty smart move. But for me, I got these egg wraps. They're 25 calories with five grams of protein. Do a little quick math. They're literally all protein, which is crazy. And it doesn't stop there. They have the lowest calorie bread I've ever seen. 30 calories per slice is insane. And it just tastes like normal bread. Not to mention it also has three grams protein per slice too. Now looking at oatmeal, they have my personal favorite, which is the Kodiak cake protein oatmeal. It's not that much more protein. Uh, it's 190 with 10 grams of protein compared to like 180 with six grams of protein. If you look at like the Bob's comparison here, but they have it in packets and they have it in the normal containers both very good. And speaking of Kodiak cakes, I eat the Kodiak cake pancake mix literally every single day. So I had to re-up on that. Also, Stevia sweetened chocolate chips by Lily's, the best chocolate chips out there. And they have all the flavors you could ever want, including like actual just chocolate bars if you prefer cooking or baking with that. 
Two other baking items that are normally pretty hard to find is xanthan gum and guar gum. They're both like thickening agents and I use them in quite a bit of recipes and they had them both here. Another difficult one, allulose. In fact, I've never seen this before. One of my probably favorite artificial sweeteners and you can buy it in a package here, which is pretty cool. They also had the swerve sweeteners. I've talked about them, I've used them in recipes, but they had all the different kinds here and this is way cheaper buying them from a Sprouts than having to order them on Amazon or something like that. Next to that in the syrups, I found a classic, the zero calorie Walden Farm syrup. I've had the maple before, uh, but they had blueberry too, so I think I'm gonna try that one as well. Now they have a great selection of nut butters more nuts than I've ever seen. That said, something caught my eye, the powdered almond butter, uh, 45 calories for two tablespoons, which is freaking crazy. They also have like a chocolate flavored one too for 50. Okay, now they had this uh, Walden Farms peanut butter spread and you can guess it, zero calories here, but save your money. Mine went straight in the trash can. It tasted like pure poison. Back to volume eating. We have some miracle noodles. They are insanely low calorie, 10 calories for the entire pack. They don't quite taste like true pasta, but I don't really mind the consistency at all. If you want the true pasta taste, definitely go for the Banza protein pasta. It's the same 190 calories you get per serving with normal pasta, but you're getting about 10 grams of protein as well in there. And it does taste like real pasta to me. All right, and back to sauces. So they didn't have my all time favorite Jihoo sauces, but that's okay, because they had a huge variety and some stuff I've never seen before. Uh, this brand Kinder makes some sugar-free barbecue sauces that seem like some pretty unique and tasty flavors. Only 10 calories per serving, so I got some of that. I've never heard of this uh, rib rack sauces, but they also are 10 calories per serving, so gotta get some of that. And uh, back once again, the Walden Farms at zero calorie, this time in barbecue sauce. I'll be trying this later on in the video, but do not waste your time, do not get this. Okay, now in the chip section, they have some pretty good items here, but in my opinion, nothing beats Quest chips. And this is actually the first time I've ever seen them in like a normal big bag like this. The entire bag, entire bag, okay? 490 calories, a absolutely whopping 70 grams of protein. You could eat the whole bag if you wanted to and be well on your way to hitting your protein goal that day. Every single dressing imaginable by Walden Farms they had here, and you guessed it, it's all zero calories. And you probably guess it again, they all taste like ass. Definitely don't don't get them. The only thing I would recommend from Walden Farms getting is probably their syrup. Uh, now, something I actually would not recommend either are these Lenny and Larry's like Oreo cookie type things. They're 130 calories just for two cookies, and they honestly just don't taste as good as normal Oreos. So I skipped on those. Uh, they did have some pretty good, like decent cookies from Quest though. The Lenny Larry Boss cookies are not good at all. Please don't get those either. Um, their normal cookies are pretty solid actually. I enjoy them, but they are higher calorie, about 400 calories per cookie. Now, a quick reminder to always look at the back of the label when buying something. So these lightly salted rice cakes are 70 calories each which doesn't really make sense when the ones right next to them are the same size, still lightly salted, but 35 calories each, which is like normal for a rice cake. So always check the back of the label. Now, they had a big variety of sugar-free candy items. I don't eat them much, but if you are a candy eater, there are some better, less sugar options out there. And back to the topic of Lily's chocolates. They had a humongous amount of unique flavored chocolate bars and snacks. Uh, you can use them in baking or you can really just eat them as a sweet treat without the sugar if you wanted to. Okay, now I'm not a Whopper fan, but they had these protein Whoppers, uh, seven grams of protein per serving, which is actually pretty solid. But the company also makes protein puffs. I'll be trying these later on in the video, but they're 90 calories and 14 grams of protein. So if they're good, this could be a game changer for sure. And back to beef jerky, but this time it's actually beef biltong. Uh, it's definitely a little more expensive than jerky, but it's only 190 calories with an insane 36 grams of protein. So that definitely makes it worth it. They also had these uh, 
crispy beef jerky. So that sounds interesting. I'll be trying it later on in the video too. Moving on to protein bars. Once again, a massive and unique selection from Sprouts. The Nix bars I've only been able to find here uh, and they're very good tasting with pretty good macros too. All of them being about 200 calories with 20 grams of protein. Uh, and to me, they taste kind of similar to like a barbells bar that I got in my Trader Joe's grocery haul. They also had a go-to for me the one protein bars, about the same macros, some pretty good flavors. They had maple donut and cinnamon roll are two of my favorites. And another good one, the power crunch bars, definitely less protein, definitely more calories, but I'm just a sucker for the wafer style protein bar. And now onto the frozen section stuff, starting with the ice cream. My favorite is the enlightened ice cream. They have amazing flavors, they have great macros. This one has 400 calories with 22 grams of protein in the entire pint. Uh, but with the Enlightened, once again, make sure you're looking at the back of the label because they make keto versions that are like double the calories per pint with less protein. So make sure you're looking at the back. But Enlightened also does make some good like low calorie ice cream cones, ice cream sandwiches, bars, stuff like that that have lower calorie with higher protein options. And that is nice. If you're more of like a fruit bar person, these good pop rocket pops are pretty solid. Uh, only 30 calories per pop. They also had an absolute favorite of mine here recently, the true fruit or frozen fruit. It's very simple. It's literally just frozen fruit. I like the blueberries and the cherries. They're not much, but they're simple and they're delicious. And also as I was checking out, they had the chomps, which are pretty much just healthier, better tasting Slim Jims. So I hope you guys jotted some of those notes down. The total came out to about 350 bucks for this haul. So I cannot wait to get home and start trying this stuff out. All right, we are back as you can see everything right here <sighs> please please press thumbs up button um, because it was pouring like actually torrential hurricane down pouring in there to the point where the lights actually turned off for like a solid five minutes and i sat there with my camera and did nothing fun but now on to the second part of the video where the shirt comes off and the apron comes on and I show you some cool recipes, some nice things that you can do with the stuff that you picked up right here. But for tonight, one, I'm starving, and two, I figured what's a best representation of what Sprouts is as a grocery store? Let's make some of their pre-made food. So in the first section, we walked through their kind of pre-made deli selection stuff, and I picked up two of their pre-made chicken breast, their green beans, and their pre-cooked sweet potato. All I'm gonna do, toss it on a plate, put it in the microwave, and this is what it's gonna look like. All right, and in less than five minutes, dinner is served. I mean, all around, this looks like a pretty awesome meal to me. Very well balanced. Everything looks pretty well seasoned as well. The only thing it might need is like a little bit of barbecue sauce. Good thing I got like four of them at Sprouts. So I don't know. I am really curious to see how this Walden Farms works out. They had everything that Walden Farm carries, I'm pretty sure, and all of it was zero calories, which just doesn't make sense to me. Oh my f I did not just do that. Oh, oh, look at me. Look at, oh no. I just covered my wall and my house in barbecue sauce. All right, hold on, let's slowly see if it's good. Oh, hold on. That's not very good, but I got to clean this up. Many unbearable hours later. All right, I've been cleaning for about an hour now, and this tastes horrible. It just tastes like vinegar water, so. Waste of time, ruined my house, tastes like shit. There's your review. As you can see, I'm not in a good mood. I was starving, and I, all I wanted to do was just eat this meal. So I'm going to use the Kinders. I have a feeling this is going to be much better. I'm going to gently open this and gently shake it with my finger on the lid. Oh my gosh. Food's probably cold now. This actually smells pretty good. Just drizzle that on there. Chicken. Mmm. 
Wow. I mean, maybe I'm starving because I haven't eaten in a long time, but that's really good. And so is the barbecue sauce. Like, I would call that one of the best pre-cooked chicken breasts I've had. Soup potatoes are good, but they're not cooked enough for me. I like my soup potatoes real, like, like squishy and soft. And these are kind of hard in the center still. Like, my fork, I have to actually push my fork into it. Flavor is good, though. Uh, let me tell you right now. This barbecue sauce is delicious. Smoked red jalapeno has a really good kick to it, but not overpowering at all. It's really good. Yeah, the green beans are cooked perfectly, actually, and seasoned really well, too. I'm actually really happy with this meal. If the sweet potatoes were a little more cooked, it'd be like literally almost perfect. I mean, the thing how easy that is, if you have a sprouts near you, you can go there, you can buy this stuff in bulk. It's not the cheapest option, obviously, but you're gonna pay for convenience and for healthy food. So if you're someone personally like me who is always in a time crunch, always has a million things to do, getting healthy food in quickly can be tough if you don't prepare. And if you're someone who doesn't like preparing, then I think this is a really good option where you can just go pick it up, bring it home, put it in the microwave, and in under five minutes, you're ready to go and you have a great meal in front of you. This is recipe slash meal number one. I need to shower, so let me do that and then we'll get into all right, I am back. It is now dinner time once again. No barbecue sauce needed for this meal, but we are getting a little more recipe, like a little more ingenuity in this one. So we are going to be making a combination of the Kevin's Korean barbecue chicken, the hibachi fried rice. This stuff looks awesome. And uh, because I'm on road to rip and I'm cutting right now, I don't have a ton of calories. So I'm gonna be adding in some cauliflower rice this one specifically is from Costco, but as you see, they have plain cauliflower rice at Sprouts as well. So it should be a quick and easy recipe. I'm gonna follow the back of the package and you have two options on here. You have both a microwave and a stovetop option. I'm gonna go stovetop because I think I'm gonna mix everything in one pan and eat it out of that. But if you wanna make it even quicker, you can do it in the microwave too. All right, first things first, pan over medium heat and we're gonna toss this on. While that's heating up, I'm gonna toss this in the microwave. Let's see how this, uh, three and a half minutes in, in the microwave and you're good to go on this. So the combination of these three items will turn into. All right, and in just a couple minutes, we have actually two very good portions and they look pretty tasty as well. I mean, they look like an authentic hibachi meal you would get somewhere. Uh, but with that Korean barbecue smell and aroma just soaking in my nose. So let me explain a little bit of how this went down. I opened up the Kevin's package and uh, <laughs> the chicken looks quite disgusting. So it tells you to separate it in the bag, then drain out the broth and then put it in your pan to heat it up. I did exactly that. Three and a half minutes in the microwave for the hibachi fried rice and that was ready to go into the mixture as well. Stirred that around, added the sauce. Uh, but to add the extra volume, I did about 100 or so grams of cauliflower rice. And it honestly added like an extra 30% volume to the meal. So that helps out a lot if you're like me on a cut trying to get a little shredded for summertime. But all said and done, I'm gonna have this one tonight. Save this one for later. Say you and your significant other wanna have dinner tonight. You can do this recipe right here and there's enough for both of you. In this bowl right here, we are sitting at 465 calories. And if you did wanna add a little more protein, you could easily add a little more chicken into this. In fact, I got this shredded chicken at Sprouts as well. Could easily toss some more chicken in there, add a little more protein, but let's give it a bite. Oh, here's how we're looking. Steamy, steamy goodness. It's very hot, but it is, it's really good. For how quickly I was able to make this, it's a damn good meal. Like I said, the only thing that might make this a little better is if you added a little more protein by added a little more chicken in there. Other than that, super great meal, super easy, and it tastes delicious. So another recipe down, but we're not done yet. No apron needed for the last one here. We are gonna be trying some of the high protein snacks that we got at Sprouts. First one being these protein puffs by Skewed Foods. Absolutely insane macros too. 90 calories for 32 puffs and 14 grams of protein. Why would you open it like that? Like what? You like <laughs> This is the sour cream and onion flavor. I actually got a bunch of different flavors. Grab your balls. These are how they look. You didn't choose me. Pretty good. Those are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I tried the pizza ones already. The pizza flavor's a little better. The pizza flavor's better? I just can't get over the calories and macros. Um, yeah, very impressed with 
One, the, it's like a voluminous snack, like a very good crispy snack. Uh, and two, just the protein in it is insane. And if you're wondering, in this entire bag, it's about three servings. So you have the entire bag if you really wanted to. All right, next up, uh, I've actually had beef biltong before, but this is by Strive. I've never had this one. The entire container is only 190 calories, 36 grams of protein. Cheers. I think I like normal beef jerky better. You do? I personally like the beef biltong a little better. Really? To me, it tastes a little it tastes a little fattier, even though it's not. Uh, and it's easier to chew. A lot of beef jerky for me is really hard to chew. They are better like bite-sized pizzas though mm -hmm. to eat. So yeah, another insanely high protein snack that I would definitely recommend picking up. How about you try this girl? Oh. All right, now this is very similar, but I've never heard of dried crunchy beef jerky. So we're gonna try that next. This whole bag has 100 calories for the entire bag and 20 grams of protein. That's insane. No, you didn't. Whoa. It kind of looks like dried dog food or something. It looks like something that like got run over on the side of the road. Yeah. Put in the air fryer. All right, try it. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Ew. Yeah, I don't, it do, It tastes It tastes like a dog treat kind of. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's not dog treat? No, it's definitely not. Yeah, these are definitely getting fed to Natty as dog treats because that just, that's just. In it, like, are you, like, are we sure that this is not a dog treat? I don't see anywhere where it says dog treat in there. I don't know. I Yeah, I personally would not recommend that one. And to end on a sweet note, the NYX protein bar. So there's a bunch of different flavors there. This one is 190 calories for 15 grams of protein, which is decent for a protein bar, but I've definitely seen better macros before. Cheers, baby. That's really good. Mm -hmm. for, a, for a quick protein bar snack, treat at the end of the night, something like that, very, very nice. And Sprouts is the only grocery store I've known to carry Nick's. Puffs are still my favorite. The puffs are probably my favorite too. And the amount of volume you get is really insane. So will I be shopping at Sprouts only now? Um, if it was a little closer to my house, I definitely would. I think Sprouts is the perfect combination of like, your normal grocery store mixed with like a Whole Foods where they have a lot of good like alternative options. It's probably my favorite grocery store I've ever shopped at. And if it was a little closer to my house, I'd be going there every single time. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about Sprouts? What would you pick up there that maybe I didn't grab? And what did you think about all the stuff that I did pick up? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit thumbs up button. It really does help this video get out to more people. It helps my channel grow and I really, really appreciate you doing that. If you're new to the channel, you wanna see more grocery haul videos, you wanna see more fitness related content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, become a sub subscriber, and I will be seeing you very shortly in the next one soon. Peace.